everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm still working here up on the fallout shelter. Uh, if you take a look right here, you can see I've been able to build up all this earth from that rock wall that I had the other day. It comes up possibly another foot above the rock wall. And what I've been doing here is uh, laying down a bunch of sticks and scrap from the woods. A couple reasons for that. Uh, one is it's just more stuff uh, to put under there. I'm not sure how much dirt I'm really going to have in the end. I've got the pile over there and it's dwindling wheelbarrow by wheelbarrow, so it's more stuff to put under there. Now, concrete is better than dirt and dirt is better than wood, but wood is better than nothing. So I'm grabbing wood out of the wood, uh, woods there, uh, kind of laying it in here, and it's adding more stuff, it's adding more atoms. Anything that you pick up and has weight to it, has atoms, has mass, mass is good for blocking radiation. Even if it's not the best thing in the world, it's better than nothing. So I'm laying these in right here, trying to get them all uh, crunched down as best I can. I'm laying them all uh, perpendicular to each other so they don't tend to cross hatch and leave a uh, void. I'm sure there are some voids in there, but it tries to minimize it. Then I'm taking the dirt and mushing it down into the, uh, the holes between all the sticks, trying to get it in there as best I can. And then the next step is I'm grabbing these little dirt clods from here and moving them. So I just got one right there. And I'll take this, and this lays right in there. There's a little gap right there. I'll just fill in with a little bit there. Uh, but uh, what I'm doing is just kind of moving across. So I am cutting away the, the ground, laying down sticks, piling dirt on top of the sticks, and then putting the uh, uh, clods of earth on top there. Uh, uh, the next thing I'm working on uh, today also is finishing up this vent pipe. It's back here behind you. Uh, I'll try to finish up the video just doing this. Uh, you know, when it times out, it times out. I've got the last piece here ready to go on. It's extra long. Uh, that's not a problem. I'll just cut it at whatever height I want it above the ground. But again, I pre-attached the 90 degree bend to the, uh, the straight piece so I can use this level here to, uh, to get it uh, perfectly plumb or as close to that as possible. So I'm going to put the ABS glue on there, slide it on, and then get it nice and plumb. Let's see. This is always a little bit uh, nerve-wracking. you got to do this all really quickly. Right. And I put plenty on. doesn't matter if it drips down or anything. I don't care if I make a mess. I'm doing three little globs of it there. Close that up somewhat. And get this on there. Sometimes these don't go on so easily. That went on really easily. I'm rocking it back and forth in order to just slide it down on there. And now we'll make it perfectly plumb. Get it a little more. Looks like that. Hey, okay. so. Uh, I'm going to let that cure for a couple of hours and we'll start back and fill it back filling in there really packing the dirt underneath to make sure that it doesn't uh, it doesn't sink in you want to really pack the dirt uh, on the bottom side of that pipe uh, and then once that's done I'll cut this at whatever height I think is appropriate and then dig the uh, the holes down for the uh, the uh, the filter box and I'll lower the filter box onto this uh, at whatever height I think is appropriate and that'll be certainly next next time not today that's it thanks for watching